Hi, I'm 8 -Pack, and I'm here to discuss with you about the new X299 and Threadripper CPUs from AMD and my overclocking bundles that will be available from launch. Okay, everyone's been really looking forward to Threadripper coming out uh, because of its high core count and high, th uh, high threads which obviously makes it very suitable for professionals doing rendering, uh, video editing, and anything really CPU intensive where cores and threads come into play. It's also great for gaming, especially when you're uh, wanting to do some kind of streaming or anything running in the background. You know, multitasking is the king when it's like 16, 16 cores and 32 threads. Uh, obviously, that's the high end thread rip, but we've also got a lower end CPU still offering a great number of threads and cores, okay? So let's now look at my bundles. Uh, I chose the bundles for really for two, well, maybe three reasons. Obviously, as always with 8-pack, performance is the most important thing. Also for compatibility uh, and for aesthetics. What you, what you can get basically is one of two bundles and the only difference between the two bundles is the motherboard. Uh, one is the offering the X399 Asus motherboard, uh, the Zenith, which is, which is an ROG board. The other is, the XC99 ASRock Tai Chi motherboard, which again obviously uh, is X399 and comes with literally all the features you can expect from an X399 and modern chipset. Also within the within the bundles you get a CPU, which we guarantee to overclock to at least 3.7 gigahertz. Uh, you get Thermal Grizzly uh, Tim, which is the best Tim on the market for for uh, between the heatsink and the CPU. You get at least an AIO cooler of 240mm by Acer Tech uh, with the mounting ring and everything to mount it to the CPU. And then you can choose between 32 or 64 gigabyte configurations of Team Group Dark Pro 8-pack memory, which is C14-3200. Currently both boards can support 3200MHz, no problem out of the box, for 32 gig. Uh, at the moment if you choose a 64 gig option, we're going to guarantee it to run at 2933, but often 3066 and above is possible. And I expect as the platform matures, just like Ryzen, that the speed on 64 gig will be no problem to reach 3200 MHz within a few weeks. Okay, so that's a little bit about what you get in the bundles. Uh, now let's look at the aesthetics of the bundles. So here we have uh, the Tai Chi board uh, with the 64 gig of the 8 pack memory installed in it. And as usual, the 8-pack uh, brand and styling, I like to go for a nice sleek design, basically in monochrome, where the customer or end user can add uh, extra colour to their build by using uh, coloured cables, uh, RGB on the case or RGB on the graphics card, this kind of thing. I like a nice stealthy black look, which is not intrusive, where the end user can add their own stamp by adding their own colour. And hence why I've chosen the Tai Chi board as well as its excellent overclocking performance and stability, memory overclocking. It's got this uh, monochrome design and it's really not intrusive. I really like the grey heat sinks and how ASRock have, have moved things forward on everything looks wise. Also obviously the IO shield's really nice. Similarly the, uh, the ASUS Zenith board which I've mounted here is also a really a nice monochrome design. Uh, here we've got it running quad channel 8 pack sticks with the 8 pack AIO cooler, uh, the 240 variant, uh, and we've got a 1080 Ti card mounted in it. Obviously, I'd expect anyone running Threadripper uh, to be running at least a 1070. Usually, a, a 1080 or 1080 Ti, you know, if you, if you need this CPU power, you, you usually need uh, high GPU power as well to, to push it along. I mean, obviously, it depends what you're doing with the CPU itself. But I guess end users who are buying this kind of system will use at least uh, 1070. And on the AMD side, probably at least a 580. That's about it here for the, for the actual look of the board. I just need to point out that when you're setting up the bundle up yourself at home, please do plug in the two 8-pin uh, connectors here. Obviously, I've just set this up for the video. Uh, so it's not necessarily just to show desktop and so on and so on, but for ultimate stability, uh, and, and power across the VRMs, please do plug in both 8 pins. On the ASRock board, please make sure you plug in the 8 pin and the 4 pin as well, because Threadripper is a quite a high TDP chip and it does need as much stable power as possible, and, and, and the shared load across the VRMs is obviously helping with the stability. Okay, so we've looked uh, at the components, 
that I've decided to pick for these bundles. Uh, and we've also discussed about the aesthetics, uh, the monochrome, the very stealth outlook where people can add their own stamp to the, to the bundle or the look of the system. Now let's look at uh, the performance of uh, the CPU uh, and the performance of the bundles. A lot of people have asked me uh, on our forums a few questions about uh, what's the difference between dual and quad channel on Ryzen. So I think I'll just answer this in the video because obviously my bundles are not entertaining any dual channel uh, configuration. Uh, you've got the four sticks or the eight sticks enabling full quad channel at all, at all times and there is a reason for that. So let's just check out the dual channel benchmarks here uh, of which I did several but I'm going to actually just show Cinebench. But each benchmark I did do which was Cinebench, Terragen, Realbench, uh, Timespy and Firestrike showed a, a similar story, especially when you're talking about any type of physics calculation or rendering performance. So quickly, let's look at uh, the, the Cinebench now. So Cinebench in du uh, with 266 megahertz memory in dual channel gave us a score of 3192. Okay, so this is dual channel, 3200 um, motherboard frequency, or in this case it's actually cache, 3200 on the memory and 3.8 on the CPU. So we're at 3192. The same in quad channel and we're at 3232, which is actually equivalent to like another 100 megahertz or so on the CPU. So we're still at 3.8 here, but if we had, uh, if we'd only kept the memory in dual channel, here obviously it's in quad channel, the same frequency. If we'd only made, kept it in dual channel, we would have had to be running at least 3.9 to get the same score. So that's why uh, all my bundles are quad channel. Also, people have asked, is high high memory speed helping a lot with, with thread ripper as it is Ryzen? So we'll just show one more screen to show what's happening here. So we're at 3232 with a 3200 megahertz of quad channel memory with 3200 cache. If we drop that to, to 266, memory and again the same CPU overclock of 3.8 we get 3, 3145 so what you can see here by dropping the memory from 3200 to 2666 we've literally lost over 200 megahertz on the CPU or well around 200 megahertz for sure on the CPU these cores and threads are really benefit from, me from memory speed latency and of course cache speed as well uh, and and with the cache speed being one on one with the DRAM frequency, uh, you really see it takes a hit if you drop memory speed. So of course, with these bundles, I've chosen the highest quality uh, sticks available uh, with Samsung B die on there that are guaranteed 3200 uh, with 3200 cache running at C14, which is a very tight latency. And also, as I'll show in a few seconds, I've been able to push these memory sticks to 3333 at the same latency and so on and so on in both the ASRock board and the ASUS board. So there is overclocking headroom for the cache and memory also, as well as our bundles being guaranteed to run the CPU at 3.7. Okay, so now let's talk about the actual performance scores and a bit of stability, temperatures and so on about the, the bundle configuration which the end user can buy. So 3.7 on the CPU, 3200 on the memory, 3200 on the cache. First, let's look at the ASUS bundle. So let's check first uh, the, real temp the real bench temperature testing. So we've got 3.7, 3200, 3200, uh, one hour's real bench, full memory usage. And what we notice, the temperature, and this is on a dual AIO, is topping out at around 87 degrees C. The V-core on this was 1.325, not 1.28 here, what CPU is registering, but it was like uh, 1.325 set in BIOS, uh, and also with the voltmeter it was 1.325. So we're seeing 87 there. If you uh, go for the triple cooler, we're seeing about 82 degrees C, but you can see it's completely stable for one hour of real bench, no problem. I also did uh, some stability testing on memory to show that the 3333 was completely stable again 3.7 on the CPU 3333 really tight timings 32 gig and over 1300 1200 or so percentage coverage so we've let the test run through the memory at least 10 11 12 times with 100% memory usage here of course no errors okay so now we've checked a little bit about the stability and the temps now let's check the performance of this bundle Let's start with R15. 
So in Cinebench we were talking a score of 3224 at 3.7, 3.7, 3.7 3.7, 3.7, 3.7, 3.7, 3.7, 3.7, 3.7, 3.7, 3.7, 3.7, 3.7, 3.7, 3.7, 3.7, 3.7, 3.7, 3.7,
types of tasks that you may do on your PC or the Terragen rendering task which is obviously just solid CPU rendering and then you've got our gaming and it shows it's, it's a, a very uh, very decent gaming CPU especially if you want to do things like uh, rendering and so on in the background or you're indeed streaming where you want to take up several cores even streaming in high definition and so on and so on. For further information about these bundles obviously uh, check out our forums at the link below. If you want to buy the bundles come to our website uh, go to upgrade bundles and obviously check uh, the X399 option and the bundles will be there. The, basically all the bundles have options for the CPU you want to pick, the top core count or the lower core count thread ripper, or the options for the cooling that you want to pick and indeed the memory. So you can really tailor the bundle to your own needs. Finally of course click subscribe to our channel if you like the video, thumbs up if you like it and nothing at all if you don't like it. That's all from me. I'm 8-Pack, signing out.